hello guys welcome back to another video and today we are going to do another unboxing and it's going to be the Samsung Galaxy A11 now this is a new budget phone from Samsung and it comes with 32 gigabytes of storage and 2 gigabytes of RAM also for the processor we have an 1.8 octa-core processor and the operating system, the OS, is Android 10. So that means that we expect two major updates on this phone. Also, this phone has a big battery of 4000 milliamps and a triple camera setup, which we're gonna see a little bit later on the video. So taking the phone out of the box, we see that in the logo it's written that we have a fingerprint sensor on this phone. We have triple camera setup and infinity old display. I mean, these are the triple cameras, just look at them with the flash on the right side of the main camera. I mean, it looks pretty cool, even though the phone is plastic on the back. And I have to say that even though it looks cool, it feels cheap. But we are going to use this phone with a case, so it doesn't matter anyway. This is the charger. We have a fast charger here. And this phone has a Type-C charging port. So we have Type-C cable and the standard earphones from Samsung. Now let's take a look at the phone. We have the power button and the volumes on the right side. On the left side we have the SIM tray. On the bottom we have the speaker and the Type-C port. And on the top we have the headphone jack. So let's power up the device. I will skip everything and go straight to the menu so we can take a closer look. Okay, so the phone has booted and first thing I have to mention that even though this display is a TFT display, it's not AMOLED. I mean, Samsung has, in my opinion, the best AMOLED displays on the phone market right now, but they decided to go with a TFT display on this phone. But still, it's pretty bright. Not the best in the world, but it's bright. My recommendation on a phone that is not AMOLED is to use the dark mode a lot. So you can save a little bit of battery and the display will look cooler in dark mode. Now let's look through the phone apps and first I'm gonna go at the camera app because we have a triple camera setup on the back we have an ultra wide camera and also we have a depth sensor. We see that the phone has a capability to shoot up to 1080p, so you can record a full HD video with 30 frames per second as the maximum capability. For the video test of this phone, check the link in the description or the info card above. Now I'm just gonna go through random apps just to see how fast the phone will react in opening them.
not the fastest in the world, but keep in mind that this is one of the new budget smartphones from Samsung and it's not gonna be that fast. Still it's a good phone, I mean it's for basic task actually, but I would recommend you get an older phone, I mean you can get at this price point you can get an A20 or something similar that has a much more better performance than this. Also has you can get a phone that has AMOLED display. So that being said, I want to end the video with the recommendation of no. I don't recommend you get this phone. At this price point, go for another phone. Not this one. I don't recommend this one. Even though it's a new phone, I don't like it for the single fact that has a TFT display and has the same performance as an A10. If you want to purchase this phone, you will find the link in the description below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.